Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can create sticky event information on an individual event page. Now, what do I mean by that? If you take a look at this preview right here, what we're gonna do is use some code so that the title, the event date and time, and the event share links will stay at the top of the page as someone scrolls through all of the content for that individual event. Now, there is one part of this code that you're going to want to change, and that's specifically the margins. I want to make sure that you know how to edit this code so that the actual information will stay on the page where it should in regards to the size of the font that you're using. That might be a little bit different than what I have in my demo site. So let's go ahead and hop into Squarespace, and I'll show you how to install this code and how to adjust it. So here we are in Squarespace looking at a list of events. And if I click into this first event, you'll see I have the event information on the left. We've got a title, the date and time, as well as the add to calendar links. I have a bunch of content on the right. And as I start scrolling through, we'll lose that title and information about the event to see all of the other content on the page. But with CSS, we're going to make this stay in one specific position as we scroll through the content on the right. To add this code, I'm gonna navigate to design, and then select custom CSS. Now this is pasted in the description below, but it's really important here. You're going to want to change these values inside this code so it works with your font, and I'll show you exactly why. Now, if we scroll through here, check it out, all three of those items are staying at the top of my page while I look at the content on the right. But the parts that you wanna change are their location. This is top five VH, that's 5% of the view height, and that's gonna keep the title at that specific spot. I've said 12 VH for the event item meta, which is that date and time information right there. And then underneath that, we have the add to calendar links, and I've positioned those at 20. If we remove those, or actually let's just change them all to five so you can see, that is going to put them in the exact same position. When they reach 5% of the view height, they're going to get stuck, and this is going to combine all of them together, making them unreadable and unusable. Not fun. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to... 12, for example, right here, and we'll change this one to 20, and that is going to space them out a little bit differently. Your font sizes will be different, so don't be afraid to adjust this number so it looks perfect for your own website. Again, this first one is the title. This second one is what changes the date and the time, and this third one is what changes the add to calendar links at the bottom. So adjust the actual value right here, 20, 12, and 5, so it looks perfect for your own website. Whatever you change it to, just select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Alrighty, that's it for this quick tutorial. Those codes are below. Just make sure you edit those margins so it looks perfect for your own website design. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single week and I want to make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you're going to love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.